Hello and welcome to my channel, It's a Tailored Life. My name is Taylor and in today's video, we are resetting and getting the house clean and just ready for a new week. I'm gonna be cleaning all the areas around the house, but I'm also going to be cleaning my formal living area, which I don't always clean often on my channel because we don't spend a lot of time here. But I have some big projects going on in the house and it is causing a lot of mess in this area. So we're gonna be working on that and of course, no house cleaning is complete without doing some laundry so i'm definitely going to be tackling some laundry around the house also first we are starting in my formal living area and if you've ever watched my channel before you've probably seen it not looking like this at all but my formal living and dining are just outside of my bedroom and my master bathroom and i am currently getting my master bathroom worked on we are getting a lot of work done in there and so what i did was i moved my furniture and my rug out of the way because we had contractors coming in and out while they were working and they were doing a lot with like um painting the walls sanding cutting tiles we got a new vanity we got a lot of stuff done and it was just really messy and i didn't want them to track back and forth over the rug so i decided to roll that up and put it to the side and it took, it's, this is about week two of them working on this project. So I was like, you know what, let me just get everything out of the way and keep things off to the side until they're done and then I'll put everything back. But because things have just been a mess over here, mess has kind of been collecting over here. And while they were working on that, my husband and I were also working in other areas of the house, just like purging and getting rid of things. So that's why you saw me with those really big trash bags. We had a lot of things that we were donating and getting rid of. So I just wanted to get this space back in order. It won't look like it normally does because they are still working and I don't wanna put everything back, but I at least want to manage some of the mess. And I've also been mopping in this area just about every other day because I don't want all of that dust from them working to settle or me miss like any paint droppings on the floor that if I can catch early and get off, that would be great because I just don't want anything to settle and stick around. to be daring baby dance the night away i let my head down if i want don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time doesn't sound like fun you can do better let me show you what a good time looks like you can do better so much better If I want Let yourself be free And maybe you will find That there is more to life Than being pretty Honey, let's just face it And off to the side of the table You may notice something green over there And that is cases of water um, I've talked about this on my channel before But I am from South Florida And we are currently in hurricane season and it lasts until about November here for us and one of the things that I do to prep my family for hurricane season is I get cases of water I get about four at the beginning of the season and I just make sure that I keep four cases of water at all times because if you live in South Florida you know how crazy it can get to get water during like a hurricane or a tropical storm any type of storm during this time of year it's really hard to get water so i just keep like extra cases of water over here and we will drink them throughout the time that like we have them but i'll just make sure to replace so if we finish a case of water i'll make sure to replace it so that we always have four cases on hand at all times 
And I also do the same with like batteries and things like that. Just always making sure that we are prepared during this time of year, just in case we can't leave or we don't wanna leave. I am a Floridian. I've lived in Florida my whole life. So leaving for a hurricane isn't always something that we do or even consider. I know to people who are not from Florida, that may sound crazy, but we know how to handle hurricanes here. And if you notice the bar also, it does look like we have a lot of alcohol. We do not drink. Um, my husband actually does not drink at all and I don't drink very often, just like occasionally, socially. But when we moved into our home, we would have host a lot of like parties and get togethers for my family, my husband's family and just our friends and people kind of bring drinks over and leave them as gifts so i started to keep them and i went ahead and i got a bar and i decided to also just go ahead and kind of stock it with a different a few different options so whenever we do have guests over if we want to offer them a drink like we have plenty options for them to choose from but no we are not just here in the house like drinking away all the time and now that I'm done cleaning the formal dining area, I'm just gonna move into the formal living area. And this is a space that I can't get it to look like it normally looks because like I said, they are still working. So I don't wanna put everything back, but I do just wanna clean up what I can clean up, put away whatever I can, and just make it look neater and definitely get the floors clean. You know there's no one else than me you trust. You know what's truth deep inside. Won't you let it go? Sick and tired of seeing you in pain, your head's in a haze. Won't you lean on me? I'll catch you if you fall. So take a leap of faith. Your fixed idea is clouding up your mind. Won't we'll stop until common sense applies. The sun illuminates our head. Need you to let go. Try to guide you out to come once. Just give me your Oh, we gotta let go. Now that I'm finished in the formal area, I'm going to move into my boys' room. And it is currently summertime for us here. Well, summer break. And so my older son, Jackson, has been home a lot more and he's been cleaning his own room. He's been doing a really good job at cleaning his room, but it was just really messy today. And so I wanted to clean it with him. So before I even just got started in their room, I was like, let me go ahead and get their sheets, sheets washed. I like to wash everyone's sheets in the house at least once a week, every week. I'll do it more often, like if we need it, if there's any accidents or anything like that. I will do it more than once a week, but definitely like every Sunday at the beginning of the week, I love to just go ahead and get all the sheets clean. And I was waiting for the floor to dry just so I can give you guys like a final look of this area. And like I said, it doesn't look perfect like it normally does because a lot of things are out of place, but the floor is a lot cleaner. Everything just looks a lot better. And you can see all my bathroom things off in the corner over there. Those will get put away once I'm able to move back into my bathroom. And so I decided to go ahead and start cleaning our family room and dining room area just to get this mess under control and both boys are home. Parents, let me know, like, how's it going with having your kids home? My older son Jackson was in summer camp, but his summer camp ended um, 
date ended about like three or four weeks before it was time for them to go back to school. So he's been home for a little bit with us and my younger son Lincoln, he goes to pre-K, not pre-K, but he goes to daycare part-time. He's two years old. So he goes to daycare part-time just so I can get things done around the house. But in this particular day, like everybody was home, we were all in the house, but I still needed to get the cleaning done. So I went ahead and I just got to work in this area. So you will see both boys like popping in and out while I am cleaning this space. So I have been doing my best to stay on top of laundry lately, especially with it being the summertime. I feel like we are having more laundry than usual because we are going to the pool and just doing a lot of outings and it is so hot here. So <laughs> like a lot of times if we go out during the day, like we'll come in and everybody will just take a shower and change clothes. So lately I've just been trying to at least do one load a day, if not two, like if it's a day that I need to do two loads because I do have a two year old, so he needs his clothes changed often. And my seven year old Jackson, he has been going to the pool on top of going to the pool, like he was having swim lessons. So he was like constantly wearing like swim clothes every day with regular clothes and pajamas. And then on top of that, being that he's home right now and not even in camp, there will be days where like he'll wake up in the morning he will get dressed and I'll let him go like play in his room or something and then he'll come back out of his room in a totally different outfit so he's just changing clothes like randomly throughout the day the other day I had to have him change because he went in his he came out of his room that morning in like regular shorts and a t-shirt and then like later on in the day he came out in a long sleeve sweater and like sweatpants and I was like you cannot wear that we live in Florida it is like it feels like it's over a hundred degrees outside like you absolutely cannot wear that please go back and change your clothes so I'm just trying to do my best to stay on top of uh, laundry and I'm also counting down the days until they return to school well he returns to school full-time you are 
it is now the next day after I finished folding the laundry and getting everything put away I went ahead and started making dinner for the boys so I knew I would just continue on with getting all the cleaning done the very next day so I'm just finishing up in this space which I had gotten a lot done yesterday but I needed to just like touch up and make sure like I did all the final touches that needed to be done Now we are cleaning the kitchen. The counters are a mess in here. This is after I have cooked breakfast and lunch and also just my kids running through and playing throughout the day. So I'm gonna go ahead and get everything cleaned up. It's not as bad as it looks. It's just, there's a lot of stuff on the kitchen counter right now. Anytime there's a lot of stuff on the counter, I always like to just start with picking up any trash. If there's any trash out, it just makes it so much easier to get rid of that first. And that way I can see what I'm left with to go ahead and actually, that actually needs to be put away. Like it has a space for it to go. And I feel like that just makes cleaning a lot easier for me. And I have also changed clothes and that is because I went out for a little while. And like I said, it is just very hot here right now so anytime like if I'm going outside where I'm like in the sun like for a period of time I'm usually wanting a shower by the time that we get back home because it is so hot we're usually really sweaty when we come back home and I've been going to the pool with my older son Jackson and if it's swim lessons I will sit on the side in the bleachers so that's really hot like there's a little bit of shade there but we're kind of just sitting like all the parents are kind of just sitting in the sun in the heat for 45 minutes waiting for them to finish swim lessons or if i go with him i will get in the water with him
best you've ever had Everybody's been saying that you're up to no good Everyone has been telling me that you got me hooked You're playing it big time, you're feeding me lies Everyone has been bugging me to sever the ties But I would never, ever, ever would have believed them No reason, sometimes the truth is hard to see but never, never, ever, ever seem to be over, I saw her. So I'm happy I got freed Lucky, lucky, lucky me, uh oh, oh, oh. Lucky, lucky, lucky me, I won, got it done Lucky, lucky, lucky me, uh oh, oh Lucky, 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 I won't let the door hit when I so on Sundays when I'm cleaning in the kitchen, I like to just do like a quick check in the refrigerator. I don't always like deep clean it and pull everything out, but I do like to check to see if there's anything that's gone bad for the week, like any fruit or vegetables that we didn't eat that need to get in, be gotten rid of. I like to check that. And when I was checking, I realized we had some water that had spilled and it was like turning into ice on the bottom of the refrigerator. So I wanted to get that cleaned up while I was doing my little weekly check and cleanup. And you guys will see this ice was so resilient. It's so funny to me because our refrigerator isn't like colder than usual or anything. And our house is actually warmer than usual right now because even with the AC, like I said, it's just very hot here. And this ice just would not go away. It was really thin pieces of ice. I'll be holding them up so you can see them as I'm picking them up and bringing them out. But there just was so many and I kept thinking like, oh, if I wipe them with a warm, wet towel, they will come up. And they just were not coming up very easily. I kept having to like pick them up and break them into pieces. I don't know, it was weird. But after this, I was able to give the refrigerator like a nice good wipe down. I love to wipe the refrigerator down with some type of like smell good multi-surface cleaner and I am using this one that was made by my cousin. It's um, All Things Needed by Bella and it smells so good. I've used it on my channel a few times before just in different areas throughout the house. I love to use it in the kitchen because it's like a natural made product but it smells amazing and I'm not exaggerating when I tell you it smells so good. So I like to use it when cleaning out the refrigerator because if there's anything like going bad in there, usually this product smells good and the scent kind of lingers. Um, it's like a rose scent, but if there's anything going bad, like I will smell it right away and know to get rid of it like right away because I do have times where I may buy some produce and like totally forget that I bought it if it's like in the back of the refrigerator or something or if we make plans to make something for dinner and we change our mind and go out, I may forget about something. Even with leftovers, I can admit that I've done that a few times, like forgotten them in there. But so I like to just wipe with things that smell really good. And I also use this spray on the counter and it works so good. But I'm telling you, it smells amazing. Why ain't gravity pulling you in closer to me? I've lost you. Off my radar now I've lost you Telling you that I need you But you're off my radar now Found myself in between the lines Underneath your bed sheets It started fun But now I'm into deep into this flow A zero sum game that I will lose There's no zipping past it Every time you walk away from me, I want you. How could I want you more? Or oh, when did I lose my perspective? Oh God, have I lost it? But my cravings for you so shameless. Can't get enough. I've lost you. But I need you. And you're off my radar now. I've lost you. I need you. 
And now we are all done in the kitchen. I'm just going to quickly sweep the floors before I call it a night. I really hope you all enjoyed this video and I hope everyone is enjoying their summer and getting ready for fall. I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Please hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video and please consider subscribing if you have not done so already. I will talk to you guys next time.